play! Sorry, have to do that at least once. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Half-Life 2, and... Last time, we finished the Follow Freeman chapter, which was pretty damn long. I thought the Anti-Citizen 1, the chapter before that, was the longest, but boy was I wrong. So, now we are, st are starting a new chapter, and if I remember correctly, this is the chapter where we get to enter the Citadel. Also, I... F I... Realized why the, or uh, I figured out why the audio levels were so low. It wasn't because the actual level was so low. It's because the uh, the the setting, the microphone setting, was set to the high. It was basically set set to the computer microphone, the built-in one that comes. Basically, like when you're using something like Skype or whatever. The, that little tiny microphone that's next to the webcam built into the laptop. It was set to that rather than my external microphone that I use to actually record my audio, my, my commentary. So that was the reason why the audio was so low. But, should be good. Now. So, let's move on. Got a... Nice looking body over here. I'm gonna make this a thumbnail too. Now of course, we can't just enter the citadel. Yeah, we can't just enter the structure. That would be too easy. No, we gotta do some platforming first. Now, of course, watch me die like 50 times before I finally f remember what I what to do. not as complicated as you'd think. Of course, I should still quick save just in case, but it looks... Just get onto this pipe, and then jump onto this thing, and then go over here. that we have to go, but cannot be, actually yeah, this is where we have to go. I do remember that when I played this game for the first time, like the very, very first time, I got kind of lost in this part because, well, I wasn't, wasn't sure exactly where to go and just kept just kept uh, going around in circles and circles. And 
Actually, I think I just screwed myself. Quite possibly. Quite possibly, I think I just might have screwed myself. Oh, wait. Never mind. Right, so, this part right here. This part was actually the part that, uh, got me confused. And I was running around for, like, probably a good 15 minutes trying to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do. And this is actually something that I don't know if you can figure it out. Well, I'm sh well I guess you could probably if you're... If you're just looking, clicking everything, but just from the looks of it, you wouldn't expect that what you have to do is what you have to do. First, you have to... Okay. Let this thing move and catch the next one. Yeah, you actually have to get into these things. Just like that, you get to ride these pods. I don't know if you can figure it out that this is exactly what you have to do the first time you play this game. I mean, I know I didn't. It, it just, it just doesn't seem like something that you, that they, that, that you want to do. That just actually go in and jump into the the pod. Now you wouldn't think of doing that. I don't think. But, uh, yeah, that's what you have to do. Also, you may have noticed that in the beginning, before I actually got onto this, I was kind of looking at, uh the blue energy field and then at the rail that is because you have to take the the rail that's closer to the back wall not the one that's closer to where you uh, to where you're standing because that rail is going to take you to the blue energy field where that laser thing that that shoots from the ceiling will kill you so you want to actually go onto the one that's further back which to get to where you want to go. Also, this chapter has a pretty interesting mechanic that you don't... I think it's, to, it's introduced in this chapter, and you don't really get to use it that much. I believe you get to use it probably in... Well, if you get it in this chapter, like I think you do, you get to use it in this chapter, and then... I believe the... The next chapter, which is actually the last chapter. And then you get to use it a little bit in the beginning of... Episode 1. So you don't get to use it... That much. Although, you still get to... You still get to have some fun with it. And for those who have played this game, should know what I'm talking about. If not, then, well, just watch. It's actually a pretty cool mechanic. If I did so, so myself. Although you wouldn't really want to have it for the, the whole game, because that's... I think that would just pretty much break the game.
No! My guns! My precious guns! And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the mechanic that I was talking about. You can use the gravity gun to pretty much grab, well, grab, you can't grab any striders or anything like that, but you, these peons, you can grab and just fling around like ragdolls. Well, I guess maybe you can fling it around because the game doesn't let you fling anything around, but yeah, you, you, you can grab any low combine or elite combine and just to suck them up with your gravity gun and... So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Yeah, he's... You can't... Grab or you can't shoot the soldiers like you can in stationary rackets like that. But you are able to, the, to grab them around and just like I said, fling them like ragdolls. And I think that this is a pretty unique mechanic. But, uh, like I said, if you were able to do this f for the whole game, it would pretty much be a broken game, because this is just overpower. You can, you can even use the soldier's dead bodies as a weapon, not just grab them and fling them around, but like... Of course, you still want to be careful. Don't want to just... Stay out in the open and get shot in the face because you... St for, for that... For that reason. Because you will lose... You will lose... Quite a bit of health. At least playing on a hard way. Playing on an easier difficulty, it wouldn't really matter. Actually, I just I forgot that there was a health thing back in the beginning. Let me go ahead and grab that. I guess it was an energy thing, but energy's good too. Oh snap! I forgot that the dust dead. Oh yeah, I completely forgot that your energy is now doubled because of this. So now you're got twice the armor. Health still stays the same, of course, but with 200 energy, losing or having 100 health shouldn't be that big of a deal anymore. Well, Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, 
You showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. Go to hell! Someone who is... using aliens? Oh. Forget, is this... Okay, this is glass. somewhere. You. Disintegrate. You. Follow suit. Yeah. Achievement. We need ten more to get the atomizer achievement. Fun flinging around these people as like ants. Actually, they're not people, like I said earlier, they are aliens. Looks like the gravitational pull. Actually, the never mind. The pull was pretty much the same, but actually, no. I do think it is at least somewhat stronger. Because when the for the regular unenergized gravity gun, when you try to pull boxes toward you from a far away distance, you have to press the suck button. A couple times before you would finally get locked into the feet, the gravitational field. Here looks like the guy was pretty much sucked in right off the bat. You have instant regeneration, practically. Also, I think... Okay, so it, it does... Jesus. Got that regeneration shit. I think I might have screwed my. 
myself out of the... The Atomizer achievement. Because I think I only had it about maybe... Maybe two or three people left to get the achievement. And, uh... And I believe that the the couple guys in the in the beginning, before I realized that I, this is before I started flinging them into that energy field, were the deciding factor. I think you have to send every single enemy in that area into the field to get the achievement. I believe, I believe that you have just enough enemies. Actually, you have exactly enough enemies to get the achievement and no more. But anyway, this is all the time I have to record right now. So, I will be calling it... Actually, this is a pretty good place to call it a, a video anyway, because... If I remember correctly, that section right there is going to be a large... Uh, large elevator type platform kind of section which is a perfect place to start up another a new video so hope you guys enjoyed this and i shall catch you all in the next video see ya